wouldn't it be great if there was a way you could combine all the things you love about Delphi Native and the world of .NET, where you can keep not only your business logic, but all your existing code and components, while still using new .NET features? Or, while migrating between Delphi and .NET, wouldn't it be great if you could leverage your existing code and components and finish your project quicker? Yeah, we thought so too, which is why we created Hydra. The idea behind Hydra is to empower you, the developer, with the choice of the right tool and framework for each part of your application, all the while delivering a smooth user experience as quickly as possible. Here, let me show you. If you wanted to display a bar graph, then a logical choice would be using Windows Presentation Foundation for its great support of vector graphics. Here we have created a bar graph visualization in Visual Studio 2010 using Windows Presentation Foundation. You see we have full access to the visual design surface, the property editor, and the XAML editor. Visual Studio compiles all this into a managed DLL for us that contains our plugin. That plugin DLL is then loaded by a host application. Our host application is written in Delphi. It could be an existing application or a new application. The key here is the Hydra Module Manager, which is able to load and display the plugin from the DLL. Along the top here, we have some standard Delphi user controls and a panel to display the visualizer on. When we run this Delphi native application, it loads the .NET DLL and the user is presented with a seamless application displaying both the Delphi Native and Windows Presentation Foundation visual components. As the user interacts with the Delphi controls here, the .NET Visualization plugin responds as expected. And if we want to debug this, we can simply add a breakpoint And when we click the button now, the breakpoint stops like we'd expect it. We're now able to step and inspect just like normal. Back on the Visual Studio side, we can change our plugin's behavior by editing the code here that runs in the plugin. In this case, it's Delphi Prism but this could be in, in any .NET language. And now we can run it from here. And that same Delphi host application runs displaying our updated visualization plugin. Now we have rainbow bars and the user still has the same smooth vector-based animation. If we find ourselves needing to debug this, we simply add a breakpoint And now we can step through, inspect the values, just like normal. When we're done, we just let it run. The key to all this is the Hydra Module Manager. Through the load module method, we are able to load a plugin module containing one or more plugins. Since this is a visual plugin, we use the create visual plugin method to attach the plugin to a host control for display. We run it here again from Delphi and we see our update from the .NET side is visible as well. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to RimObjects Hydra plugin framework. I encourage you to download the 30-day trial version of Hydra and put it to use today. When you do, check out the RimObjects wiki and the included examples for more information on how to get the most out of Hydra. I imagine you have already thought of many ways to make your application even more flexible and your migrations even quicker with the Hydra module application framework. Thank you.